Andres Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. And to strike. Crepa! Traditore! Giuliano! No! 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 Muori! 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 Your day is done, Lorenzo! Your entire family dies by my sword! Father! I kill you! You brought this on yourself! Die! Just die already! Please! I need help! My life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust them. Can you? Ah. On me. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. I'm just going to fight I'll kill you. I'll wipe the entire family from the city. They'll be tough. I'm more than capable of such a good Stay close. Wait out, heavy signore. Conserve your energy. Or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. I'm more 
Open the maledetta porta! By the Christ, greatest, come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Francesco di Pazzi, brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars. One thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. Signori. I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Madonna, I want no part of this.
Ha! was always dead in this court. get out of here! Now, don't be shy. I only aim to heal. A bit of rest and you should be well recovered, friend. Fast. I see him! There!
himself a master swordsman. So strong of life. My men will make short work of you. This is now. Your own will your inevitable and painful end. What do you think you're proving? Now it's my time. Your loyal service is at dawn, Lorenzo. Death shall be your reward. God! God! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! I'm losing him! I give up! Please! Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace.
When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I walked to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. Hey. Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Stefano da Bagnone. And Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city.